Hello and welcome to another Excel at the Office how-to video and in this video I thought I'd introduce you to the uh, rather new feature in Microsoft PowerPoint where you can create cartoon scenery and people and I'm just going to run through in presentation mode first just to show you some here's what I made earlier but um, in terms of uh, cartoon people and scenery uh, you can use it for um, many uses really, just to liven up and make your presentations a bit more jovial, give it some kind of human character and there's lots of options where you can have like people holding up boards where you can overlay text on, so for example in this uh, slide, in this title slide I've used the cartoon banner um, to use as the title of my slide. And there's a variety of people you can use, so I've selected a few here to demonstrate uh, some of the functionali functionality. Um, so there's a scientist uh, character and you can tell he's a scientist because he's got uh, test tubes in his pocket. Uh, those I've added to the basic uh, <laughs> character. So if you ever see someone with test tubes in their pocket you know they're a scientist and he's talking to an interesting uh, what looks like a ACDC fan. And there's an interesting conversation that seems like something I wouldn't want to get involved with um, going on between the uh, couple on the right hand side of the image. I've used the uh, flipbook transition for this uh, slide deck which is quite a nice transition so I'll make the slide deck available to you on my uh, blog at excelattheoffice.com or soon I've just bought the uh, or just acquired the URL uh, eato.blog um, eato.blog if, e if that's easier to remember so I'll come I'll go th through this uh, when I'm out of presentation mode but just generally it's very simple so you go to the insert uh, section of the ribbon choose icons and from the list of icons you can choose cartoon people <clears throat> and as I mentioned earlier there's cartoons with uh, holding up placards that you can convey your message on. Uh, it's quite light-hearted. There's even cartoon characters I found with uh, the chap or chapess there with uh, one eye. Uh, goodness knows where they're from, but uh, the triangle suggests they might have something to do with the uh, squid games, but I hope not. So this is a blank page. I'm just going to show you in a minute how to add something. Here's another little bit of scenery I created. So there's a, a whiteboard there and I've added a, a kind of balloons background. Uh, there's a couple of people there just demonstrating some of the full length body uh, characters and you can even add plants and other scenery. There's also some ready-made scenes. So for example um, this uh, trees and pedestrian crossing is a ready-made scenery which I've overlaid and coloured in some shapes and people shapes and made my very own very uh, rubbish uh, version of uh, the famous Abbey Road uh, picture of the Beatles uh, but yeah take it or leave it and then using this is just an example of some scenery with some additional uh, trees and plants added which I've then used the rendering to color it in and given a bit of a tone to the background the slide design as well and I've even gone to the effort of putting in a very terrible animation to introduce people as if they're walking or moonwalking along the path there so that's the end of the slideshow so that's some Here's what I made earlier examples, but in terms of um, how to access the icons, you go to um, insert from the ribbon at the top here, second one across, and if you choose icons rather than shapes, that will bring you up um, some options in a dialog box. And you, it normally presents icons, images, but if you choose the drop down list here, <clears throat> I'm using uh, Microsoft PowerPoint for Mac, but uh, PowerPoint for Windows is very similar. You'll have a drop down and you can use um, 
cutout people is quite a useful one if ever you want to explore that. That's actual photos of people if you want to make it more personal, your presentations more, uh, just give it that kind of characterful uh, content. But I'm going to choose cartoon people. And when you select that, you'll see it arranges things according to different groups. Um, so, for example, there's new stuff that's there. You might re recall that um, cartoon that I had on one of my slides. So I'm going to select that and choose Insert. Uh, move them over there. And like any shape, you can adjust the size um, with the things you insert. I'm going to scroll across and show... Uh, so these, this is one of the kind of half characters, i.e. half their body. It then gives you the options. Even if you, if you want to, you can even bespoke make up a face and head and body for yourself. But that's too uh, in-depth for me, but I'd explore uh, if you like to um, play about with those features. And then some of the full body characters. <clears throat> uh, you can scroll through here. Uh, lots of these seem to be missing their heads but uh, if we carry on through uh, you can even have uh, accessories like hats and uh, so on decorations is quite nice so there's the banner I used for my um, title slide so again it shows you can personalize things so the person pointing towards a message you want to convey for example and there's a whole heap of things like scenes as well so I showed you the balloons uh, picture if you're doing a, a, a kind of, there's the zebra crossing or you can do a, an office scene uh, for example it's getting quite busy now so I'll just uh, undo that so there's lots of uh, options to choose from and once you've got your uh, cartoon people in place, cartoon people and scenery We'll go ahead and close that, and you can also format them individually. So one thing I want to do, you might find, is you might want to place this person over here and your message over there, but you'll find that they're now pointing the wrong way, or as you can do with any shape, you can flip it, so it's then pointing the correct way. So that's quite a, a handy little tip. And once you've inserted these uh, images, they'll then, like you have with a shape format, image format um, feature pops up on the ribbon, you can choose um, the graphics format which becomes an option available to you. And I'm going to jump straight to the format pane because there's a particular way of uh, doing formatting these graphics if you want to add some colour. So under the uh, picture tab here we can choose the um, picture color and I'm going to go to the uh, presets and you can choose a variety of presets whether you want some kind of uh, natural colors or very cartoon colors or just a cartoon outline color so I'm just going to choose an art outline for now for that one and for this one I'm going to choose um, a blue background to the sign but if I show you some uh, as I've used on what I've already created. Uh, if I choose the background, I'll format that one as per the uh, intro thumbnail to this video. So I'm going to color those uh, stars and moon spacey things that the scientist very much likes in yellow. Uh, I'm going to color these people in a very cartoon very cartoony colors so I'll choose yellow for that person I might choose green for that person the scientist uh, I might choose blue and then for uh, this ACDC fan I'm going to choose red so you can start to kind of build up a bit of a colorful scene to your uh, slides and it just but sometimes you might like it if uh, it's completely, uh, there's no colour, so just an outline is quite a nice uh, feature. So I've shown you the um, how, how you do it. You go to the Insert tab, 
and choose icons and then as I mentioned before it's the cartoon people and there's a variety of uses for this in terms of the slide transition you know that uh, flipbook transition I briefly showed you which is quite nice and uh, subtle so that's on the transitions um, tab of the ribbon and it's called page curl so that's quite handy particularly if you're doing things to kind of be congruent with the comic book style of this I quite like that transition and what you'll need to do is just select the slide and make sure you've uh, chosen it for each slide uh, apart from the title slide obviously because there's nothing uh, there's no point having that coming in as a page so it's only from slide 2 onwards that you'll have your slide transitions usually so there we go that's a, a bit of an overview of um, the new Microsoft PowerPoint cartoon people which also includes uh, scenery accessories and a whole heap of other things that you can have fun with in your PowerPoint presentations I hope you found this video useful. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything else you'd like me to cover. And uh, please uh, like and share. That would be much appreciated. If anyone else might find this useful. And as always, take a look at my site and associated blog where I will store this uh, a copy of this presentation for you to play about with should you wish to download and uh, inspect it uh, at excel at the office. Thanks for your time.